Hi everyone, it's Luke here from Eurisco Studios. In this video tutorial, I'll be giving you an overview and instructions on how to use the ProBurn Wrapper plugin. Uh, first, a quick overview about what it is. The plugin was originally designed to unwrap image probes of room interiors to generate image maps for the VRoom plugin. Um, an image probe is just a, uh, a photo of a reflective sphere. Um, and the example here, you can see, uses a 3 inch diameter ball bearing. Now this gives us a 360 degree field of view of the, uh, the room that's actually reflected in the sphere. As I said, it was designed for generating uh, VRoom library images because it converts to this um, planar format which uh, VRoom plugin uses, which I'll talk about later. You'll see it when the plugins actually run. But that's actually it can still actually be used for a variety of different applications. Before we go out to actually uh, look at how the plugin itself functions, I'd just like to talk a little bit about the photographic setup used to acquire the image probes. Now there's also a, a caveat here. The plugin only works with uh, orthogonal wall sets. Now what that actually means is, you can see in this sort of uh, image mock-up of a, of a room here, basically means that all of the walls have to be at 90 degrees to one another. So this plugin will not work in very strangely shaped rooms. Also, you have to record the relative heading and pitch of your camera. You can see in the diagram here that the camera's down here and it's, it's offset to the right as to the location of the image fit. The angle in between the two yeah, when looking down from above, as in this example, is the uh, relative heading. Um, so when the camera is off to the right, that's a positive heading, and off to the left is a negative heading. The, the same sort of situation applies when we're talking about pitch. That feature can actually be useful, although uh, it, it's easy just to put the camera in the center and have it straight on to the sphere. And when I say straight on, I mean parallel to these side walls here. But they can actually be of some use. For example, if you want to eliminate the photographer or, or the camera from the actual picture itself, what you can do is take two pictures, one with the camera off to the right by a certain amount, one with the camera off to the left by a certain amount, and then um, unwrap both of those images and use your uh, image editing software to combine the two together and eliminate the camera.